you Girl Scouts get off my lawn. <laughs> Just kidding, come on in. So welcome to 204, uh, this is our room. You know, it's only the most lit place on campus. We have our light going here in the kitchen where our good friend and roommate Ethan makes us food. We have the Hall of Fame where our good friend Ryan Brong, he hit a ball out on the park and you know, so we, we keep it up there in memory of him. Rest in peace, Ryan. Uh, we have our flags up here, uh, hung up by our good friend and roommate Christopher Fonti. He hung them up very nicely next to each other above the Christmas lights. Uh, we have our good friend Octopus here. Octopus likes many glasses of root beer. As you can see, he has eight in his hand because he is a very thirsty man. Or octopus. Uh, we have our basketball hoop here, which also works as a garbage hoop. So if we're lazy, we just kind of shoot some hoops, shoot, shoot our trash in there. And uh, we have our record player, so things can get real serene in here. Our pumpkin. And our good friend Stanley, who's currently suffering from a terminal illness. I don't really like to talk about it. But anyway, there's plenty of other places to check out in the room, so let's get to it. How many times do I have to tell you to stay? Cribs, welcome to our personal crib here in 204. This is room A. I'm Ryan. And this is Chris, who also lives here with me. He's a real joy. Chris. How are we doing? I'm Chris. So, you can call me Fonty. So this is our room. Uh, Fonty over here has all of his assorted flags. It's a uh, theme that you've probably picked up in our room so far. Um, over here on my side uh, is a quilt that my grandmother made for me. It was a very emotional thing, a uh, very emotional gift to receive. Yeah, I think that's a. I think that about sums up our room. Anything I missed? Uh, just just your uh, portrait up there that your wonderful roommate that's got for for your birthday. That's true. Yeah, Chris was kind enough to get this for me for my uh, my birthday. It's a sh pretty sweet shot of me from. Uh, from swimming last year. I tripped on that bag, that's embarrassing. Get this thing out of me! Oh, hey, thanks for joining me again. I hope you guys enjoyed Ryan's room. Now we're gonna check out me and Matt's room, so let's come on in. Hello, Matt! What's up, Eric? What are you doing? Just playing some uh, video uh, games? You know, just playing some Super Smash Bros. Oh. Gotta, gotta get my fix in for the day. Well, this is a big room for popular culture. If you look to the right, we have my whole selection of action figures. Comics, books, posters, uh, my SpongeBob TV over here, circa 2004. I've had this since I was a little child. Seven to be exact. And uh, we have more of an array of posters, and uh, my alien friend up there, he always keeps me company at night, you know, sometimes I get really lonely going to bed, and you know, he'll always be there for me. And, uh, and then we have Matt's side of the room. Matt, did you want to talk about your side of the room? Oh, yeah, yeah, let me, let me just pause this game real quick. Yeah, of course. So this is our, uh, it's my side of the room. You got your, uh, oh, you got your desk and your TV. We have our Wii and our GameCube, of course. Uh, you have my side of the bed, but uh, it's just kind of your kind of your basic bedroom. E, uh, we and I have a great time here with our PlayStation and our GameCube and our record player. So uh, it's basically 2004 in here. You doing you doing all right over there, E? No! <laughs> Well, thanks for stopping by, guys. It was really nice to have you, and uh, it's always nice to have guests. And uh, the only thing I can ask you now is to please get out of my room and never come back. Uh, it was a pleasure to have you, but please never contact me again and leave. Bye.